One of the primary questions that I get asked every year from level one, two, and three candidates is, hey, Nathan, you know, you've been around for a while. Tell me, do you recommend reading the CFA curriculum books or do you recommend that I should just purchase one of the third-party prep providers materials? Well, this is a good question and it's not black and white, okay? Or what I generally recommend to people is rely on the CFA curriculum books, use my online lectures, because with my online lectures, you can follow me either using the CFA curriculum books or any third-party prep providers materials because I tell you what page number I'm on and what LOS I'm covering. And in that way, I'm sort of book agnostic. But if you ask me specifically, if, you were, if I were a candidate, which one would I rely on? I would rely more on the CFA curriculum books. Yeah, they're lengthier, they're meatier, it's tougher to get through some of the readings than you might in a summarized version from a third party provider, but that's where my job comes in. I'm not there to only you know, teach you the material. I have a six phase study plan that I'm going to introduce to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how you can actually read the curriculum books and extract the information that you need from those readings to answer the questions on the exam. Because many times the questions on the exam are very in depth and they require you to integrate concepts. And that's what I do. And you can always then use the third party providers books to reinforce things that you learned in the curriculum books.